Hi, this is Carl with Small Biz Thoughts, and this is another SOP video for managed service providers. But most importantly, this video is dedicated to a gentleman named Jermaine, who sent me an email, and to every other person out there who is jumping ship, who is moving from being an employee to running their own business in IT. I want to give you some advice and some books to read to get you started. You know, old people like me always get asked the question, oh, if you could give one piece of advice to your younger self, blah, blah, blah. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, I've written over 20 books, so I have lots and lots and lots of advice. But let me start at the top and give you some advice for anybody who is taking the plunge and starting their own IT consulting business in 2023, or maybe even this year. The first piece of advice I would give you is to read Michael Gerber's book, The E-Myth Revisited. This is probably a different cover than what you'll find now because it's in its one billionth printing by now. If I could, I would make every business owner of every small business in the world read this book. Gerber looks at why businesses succeed and why they don't, which businesses succeed and why they do. And he gives some really amazing advice. Literally, I was blessed by being turned on to this book when I first started my first business. And it is no exaggeration. I read this book at least once a year for the first 10 years that I owned a business. And then I've been reading it every other year or so since then. So I am not kidding you when I tell you, go get this book. It will change your life and it will improve your business day one. And I'll just give you one little bit. I will, I'll, I will give you one little bit of advice from this book. You are a great technician, but right now you are in what is called an entrepreneurial fit. <laughs> you think that because you're good at being a technician, you're gonna be good at being a business owner and they are not related to each other. So I'm not trying to discourage you, but here's the important thing you need to know. You have to go into this with your eyes very wide open and you have to know what you're getting into. And here's the interesting little twist. If I were to give you one piece of advice after lo these many years of experience as an independent consultant, my piece of advice would be take every piece of advice that you ever hear and try to integrate it. Some of it you'll be resistant even though you'll know day one that you really need to do it. Some of it you'll glom onto and say, oh, I totally got to do that. And then you'll be very excited about it. Some of it you won't know how to fit in with what you're doing. But you have to start reading, whether it's Gerber or me or anything, you have to start reading. And I would encourage you, I guess if I'm going to give you one piece of advice at the top, it's this. Go get yourself an account at Amazon.com or BarnesandNoble.com Go get yourself an Audible account. Go get yourself a Kindle reader or whatever. Start consuming books. And I'm sorry if you've been one of these people who's always hated going to school. <sighs> if you're gonna be good at business, you have to go to school. And I would pan through the thousands of books I have on business, but there's no point. Read every business book that you can get your hands on. If you can, try to read one book a week. Even if that means it's on Audible and you listen to it and every week you just do whatever it takes to get through one book. Personally, I love Audible because I can listen to a book and I normally listen to it three times because I might be driving and I'll be turning a corner trying to not uh, hit somebody right at the moment that an important thing is said. Or I, you know, I doze off or I start paying attention to birds in the yard or whatever. We don't have a perfect attention span, you and me. So Audible allows me at no extra charge to listen to a book three times and then I get the stuff. 
unfortunately, I'll tell you the truth. Whenever I listen to a book on Audible or, or read a book on Kindle and I really like it, I'm the kind of person I want to go buy the physical book so that I can mark it all up and take notes and, you know, highlight all the stuff that's really, really important that I got out of that book. Do that. Gobble up books as if they are food because knowledge is ultimately the food of your business, right? And, and you need all the knowledge you can get. And sometimes you're going to read a book like Good to Great, for example. That's a great, that's a great, great book. And you're going to love the book. And then you're going to think, ah, it's really hard to apply to my very small business with one employee and, and just trying to, to make enough money to get through the, the week, the month, the year. And then a year later, you'll read Great by Choice and you'll say, oh, this is much easier to apply to my business. Well, part of what happened is it's been a year. You've been running a business. You've got some experience under your belt. It makes more sense. It's easier to apply, right? But every book you can find, listen to it. Sometimes, you know, let's be honest, a couple chapters in, you'll be like, I just don't care. Like this person is not interesting to me. Don't throw the book away, put it on a shelf, come back to it in a year, come back to it in two years. Try, if you can't do a book a week, that's cool. Do a book as often as you can. If you love audio programs, check out every single thing done by Brian Tracy. He likes to call that uh, audiobook collection 55 mile an hour university. <laughs> like that is as you drive around doing your chores, Saturday work, this and that, driving to clients, listen, 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 listen. And in the course of a year, you will be able to consume enough books to be equivalent to getting a four year degree at a college. So your university is going to be educating yourself on every single aspect that you can find with regard to your business. Now, here's a few more recommended books just for you. Next up, the Small Biz Quick Start Guide. So this workbook is something that I wrote in 2020 in response to a friend who said, okay, uh, you know, I've got a job and I want to leave my job and I want to go start another business. But before I do that, Mr. Checklist, I need you to give me the ultimate checklist of every single thing I need to know. So I wrote down every question I could possibly think of that he would have. How to open up a bank account, how to get a business tax ID, how to find an accountant, how to figure out what's going to happen to your 401k, how to figure out what do you do about insurance between here and there, and which kinds of taxes do you have to apply, and do you need a reseller's permit, and how do you get that? All of those questions are in here along with the recommended answers. So what I do in this book is I basically divide the, the, your universe into three pieces. The first one is all the things you need to know and all the things you need to do in the one year before you quit. Now, if it's too late, you can use that to catch up. But the point is there's a lot of things you should do before you quit your job. So if you've already quit your job, you, you do have to catch up. Then the second group is all of the things you need to do uh, in the month between quitting and starting your new job. You know, things like actually getting that tax ID, actually getting that bank account, actually getting your credit, your uh, business cards printed, right? And then the, the third section is all those things you need to do the first year. And there's a lot less hurry about that, but you know, you should figure out your cash flow. You should know what a cash flow account looks like, <laughs> or a cash flow report looks like. You should know lots of things. So what's that list of things? They're all here. And again, this is just intended for you to sort of answer your own questions. Oh, I'm going to go to this bank and I'm going to get an account in that bank and I'm going to fill out this form and, and now I've got my tax ID and I can go to the next level, right? So it's just a place to start. There are probably other resources, but if you look for this on Amazon or Kindle, then you're going to be able to find other references of other similar books. I know this sounds self-serving, but I'm just telling you, if you are in IT, you need to read Manage Services in a Month. This book is designed literally to change your life in 30 days. So I, I'm 
motivated to put out this video because Jermaine sent me an email and said, I stumbled upon this book and it really did an amazing job of helping me get all set up and ready to go, answering the right questions, being headed in the right direction and avoiding some really big mistakes. So Managed Services in a Month is the best-selling book ever on managed services. It's one of the first. I wrote the first, Eric Simpson wrote the second, and then that's the third. So it's a, it's a book that's been revised several times. It's got a ton of information. It is designed for you to be as successful and possible with managed services. So again, this is a pretty quick read and I recommend that you dig into this as soon as possible after you start your business. Somewhat related to that and often purchased at the same time is service agreements for SMB consultants. So uh, one of the pieces of advice I would tell you is get paid in advance for absolutely everything. Another one would be use a managed service model. Another one would be have a service agreement, sign a contract with every single person that you do business with. Sometimes you need just a one pager that's just got the most basic outline that says, hey, I'm going to bill you and you're going to pay me and we're going to operate under the laws of my state or my province. Sometimes you need something a little more complicated that says, look, we're going to have an ongoing relationship. What does that look like? Your service agreement is absolutely not about your service. It's not about what you sell. It is not about your statement of work that gets stapled to the end. The service agreement is about your relationship with your clients. And to be honest, it's kind of like the fence in your yard. Nobody cares about the fence until there's a problem about something hanging over one side of the fence or the other. When things go wrong with your client relationship, you need a contract. Nobody ever reads the contract until the day there's a problem, but you got to have that contract in place. Do not resist me on this. Just simply go do it because you're going to do it eventually. You might as well do it now. I mentioned that you should get paid in advance for everything. Guess what? That's one of the absolutely unbreakable rules of service delivery. The sooner you do that, the better. That again is one of those pieces of advice that will change your business. I wish somebody had told me day one, get paid in advance for absolutely everything. It would have changed many, many elements of my life and made me a bunch more money. I'm actually working with a coaching client right now to help transition from being paid in arrears to being paid in advance. And let me tell you, that transition makes you a bunch of money. But if you're just starting out your business, start it out on the right foot and get prepaid for absolutely everything you do. This book is filled with lots of other great rules about how you run your business. For example, we only work with people we like. As silly as that might sound to you when you're starting out, when you think you need to take every nickel that you find, the truth is that you have to work with people that you can sustain a relationship with. If you find somebody who just irritates you every single day, you are not going to have that person as a client for 10 or 15 years. So you might as well not have them as a client on day one. Another couple of other rules in here that are huge for people just starting out. You do not have to help every person who needs help. You don't have to pick up every stray dog that you wander upon. And you do not have to pick up every nickel you find on the sidewalk. Too many people starting out make the mistake of saying, I have to work, I have to scratch and claw, I have to take every job because I need the money. If that's the situation, you need to stop, rethink a whole bunch about your business and schedule a 20 minute call with me. I will talk to anybody watching this video for 20 minutes on a Zoom call and we will talk about your business and why you think you need to take all this money that leads you to make bad decisions and leads you to mold your business in the wrong direction. I don't want you to think that I'm just trying to sell you a bunch of books. <laughs> I have to tell you, my life and my businesses, in particular, Small Biz Thoughts, but all of my businesses are literally dedicated to making IT professionals as successful as possible. That is the mission I have for my personal life and for my business life. That is why I'm here. That's why I do what I do. And, you know, these books are not that expensive. That's the beautiful thing about books. 
at $20, $30, or even $40 a piece, you can buy an unlimited amount of books, and every one of them should pay for itself with one job, with less than one half hour of labor. So books are the greatest investment you can make in your business. Education is second. So now I will pitch you something, which is the Small Biz Thoughts technology community includes all of the books I've ever produced in one big bundle, plus all the videos and all the training and all the audio programs and all the slides and all the checklists and everything I've ever done. It's all in the Small Biz Thoughts technology community. But wait, there's more. The IT Service Provider University has now 20 classes that are five hours each, five weeks, five units each. And all of those classes are included in the Small Biz Thoughts technology community all under one big umbrella for one low, low price. And by low, low, I mean 10% of what you're probably thinking because everybody in this industry seems to think that you have an unlimited amount of money. I don't think that. I think you do have a limited amount of money. And when you're small and you can only change one thing at a time, you need to spend a little bit of money, make a change, talk to some friends, get some advice, change one thing, talk to some friends, get some advice. And so I don't charge very much for this. The, almost every program that you'll find in this industry charges 10, 15, or 20 times what I do in a year. And it's not because I don't need the money. It's because I want to help you. That's my primary goal. And I don't want to bankrupt you by having you pay all this other money. So right now we're at $11.99 for the year. We're going up to $12.99 for the year in July of 2023. So there's not a huge hurry, but you get literally every book I've ever written and 20 classes, 20 times five, 100 hours of education. It's all included. So I want you to be in this business and I want you to be successful and there's absolutely no obligation. If you can only buy one book, buy Michael Gerber's book. If you can only buy two, buy Michael Gerber's book and then buy managed services in a month. But if you can go through the books that I mentioned in the order I presented them, I really believe it will help you get your business launched in the right direction day one. You can always contact me, go to smallbizthoughts.com or smallbizthoughts.org or itsbuniversity, itsbu.com. Find my mailing list, get on that mailing list. I'm gonna put a link down below to the mailing list. Get on my weekly mailing list. Uh, it is mostly filled with information and tidbits and a calendar of events in our community. It is mostly not advertising. Um, but get on that list, stay in tune. And if you ever need to have just a 20 minute conversation, to see if you're headed in the right direction or find out what you need to do next or what's the one thing you can do for your business, ping me and I'll be happy to schedule that call. I'm sorry if this sounded like a commercial, but you can see if you look at my YouTube channel, I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos and almost all of them are not advertisements. For Small Biz Thoughts, this is Carl Palchuk wishing you absolutely the best of everything in your business.